Welcome back to Auto Explain channel. Today, I'll be giving you a basic introduction to the WIS software. WIS is an essential repair software that every technician must have to work on Mercedes-Benz vehicle. In addition, it also provides a wide range of vehicle-related information, such as the electrical diagram repair and maintenance instruction and part location. Introduction to the WIS software, Workshop Information System. This is an information system used in repair workshops or service stations, specifically designed for all Mercedes-Benz vehicles including passenger cars, trucks and buses. The WIS software provides a full range of information such as technical specifications, location of component assemblies, disassembly and maintenance procedures, electrical wiring diagrams, hydraulic circuit diagrams, and technical data related to each specific component during servicing. On the main screen you will see the WIS ASRA logo. Double-click the icon to open it. This is the main interface of the DWIS software. Here, I already have a VIN number for the vehicle. So, where do you usually find the VIN? It's typically located on the edge of the front passenger door or the door frame area on the driver's side, the lower corner of the front windshield on the driver's side or other areas where the VIN is marked. Now that I have a specific VIN for the vehicle, you can enter it here. Now, as you can see, after entering the VIN and pressing enter, the VIN has appeared in this box. These six digits here, where do they come from? They are actually part of the VIN. The VIN stands for Factory Identification Number, a standardized code provided by the manufacturer, in this case, Mercedes. You can also obtain this VIN or FIN by decoding it to retrieve the information shown below in case you don't have access to a computer to look it up in WIS. We will go to Google and search for the site, Latvin Mercedes. Once you're on the Latvin site, you can enter the VIN here. Okay, I'll leave the link to this site in the description below so you can visit it pass the robot check and retrieve the data. By entering the VIN, you can look up and retrieve the FIN number. The FIN also consists of 17 characters, but its distinguishing feature is the six characters in the middle, which might be something like 204, 212, or 222. These represent different model series. 204 is usually for Mercedes models like the GLK. I'll have a separate detailed video guiding you on how to decode VIN and FIN. Here, we can see the model designation of the car is 204047, and we also get detailed information about the car, such as the production year model type, Mercedes C250, engine type, 271860, and transmission type, Tune 7299. Back to the software. Once we've entered the vehicle information here and filled out all the details below, we can choose the type of transmission, either a 5-speed or a 7-speed gearbox. 722.6 refers to the 5-speed, and 722.9 is the 7-speed. Next, you'll see that the software interface has four main sections, and I'll introduce each of them one by one. This is section one. The entire area here is where we declare the vehicle information. You can do this by either entering the FIN number or the VIN number in this field. Once entered, all the necessary information about the vehicle will be displayed for lookup. Section two is the area used for searching. I'll explain this part in detail shortly. When using section two, you'll need to use keywords. For example, if you're working with the mass system, just type the keyword mass system here. This makes the search process much simpler, because as you can see, a full set of documents contains a huge amount of information. It covers all systems in the vehicle. So, if you're trying to look for documents without a clear method or a quick search approach, it can get very confusing. 
Next, this is section 3. This entire lower area is used for detailed searching by selecting each group, meaning the components or assemblies equipped on the vehicle. The software has already broken everything down into groups of components. Take note of the group numbers. For example, group 14 includes things like the exhaust manifold, braking system, engine related systems, or emission control systems. Group 15 relates to the engine's electrical system. If you work with this often, it's a good idea to remember these group numbers, as they'll be very useful for you later on. Here you can select a group, and then the specific subgroups will appear below. These are the detailed groups you can use to extract data. Now moving on to section 4. This is where you find types of search information, and it clearly reflects the capabilities of the software. It shows what kinds of tasks the software allows you to perform. For example, you can look up maintenance procedures for the brake system, find out how many liters of brake fluid or coolant the vehicle requires, check the torque specs down to individual bolts, or search for wiring diagrams. The role of Section 4 is to refine your search, helping you retrieve more specific and targeted information. So, the main interface of the software consists of four sections. Vehicle Information Input, the search area, but group selection, for search type and information selection. You'll be using each of these step by step. Now, I'll give you a specific example. How to search for thermostat valves in the cooling system. I'll show you how to search in the quickest way possible to get the most accurate result, so you can save time and focus on the actual work of disassembly and repair. In the search area, you can type in something like cooling system, and it will immediately take you to group 20. Here you'll instantly see components such as the coolant pump or the coolant thermostat, which is the thermostat valve. If you're looking for the thermostat valve, you can simply tick this option. Another method is if you already know the keyword thermostat, you can search for it directly and the result will show up the same way. Let's try it again. Type in thermostat and there you go. With the cooling system, you can easily view and access the entire cooling system layout this way. In the cooling system, many components are interrelated, so it's often necessary to extract the entire group. Sometimes you may need the data to understand the working principles or details such as how much coolant needs to be filled to the correct level. So you might want to extract the entire cooling system. For the type of information if you're focusing on understanding how the system works, you can go into the Function as Built Configurations section. On the other hand, if you're focusing on disassembly and repair, then go to Testing and Repair. Here, I'll give you an example of going into the disassembly section. After selecting the appropriate group and type of information, you click Start Search in the search area and all related documents will be displayed here in a condensed format. Let me show you the reverse case. If you search for the entire cooling system along with all types of information, the search results will be too extensive, making it difficult to locate exactly what you need.